Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to show you how to actually create a spinner or to be uh, more specific a number spinner okay one that uses uh, jQuery UI and the other one that actually simply purely uses HTML5 with a dash of CSS and using that little bit of CSS is actually not compulsory okay um, first things first let me straight away start off with a preview this is the browser preview people the you know the number spinner here at the top has actually been created using jQuery UI and the one at the bottom purely uses HTML5 the dash of CSS okay you can see that I've actually um, uh, modified the icons uh, the default is uh, the up uh, you know the uh, triangle facing upwards and downwards I've actually changed it to a thick arrow and uh, now this one uses uh, HTML uh, it steps up or down by the number 10 the max value that you can actually give it is a thousand and the min that you can actually take it down by is zero so you can't uh, get a negative number so it's stepping up or stepping down uh, incrementing or decrementing by uh, the number 10 so the step value is actually number 10 for both the spinners whether it's uh, done using jQuery UI or done purely using HTML5 okay now the one that uses HTML5 only with the dash of CSS is actually very very simple to create this tutorial is gonna run into two parts part one that will confine itself only to the uh, the one at the bottom the spinner at the bottom okay uh, people you can also increment or decrement using the uh, mouse scroll wheel and uh, as far as uh, the one at the top is concerned I can also use the page up or page down keys but it'll increment or decrement by 50 not 10 out there if I use the page up or page down keys right I can also use the uh, arrow keys on the keyboard for both the spinners as I'm doing it right now okay so step value of 10 min of 0 max of a thousand for both the spinners let's see how this was actually done let's get back to the uh, HTML document people okay uh, people let me tell you that uh, the spinner at the top actually uses a theme that I can very very easily change although I'm gonna discuss it at length only in part number two but let me quickly show you what I mean I've used a theme called sunny I can just change the word to overcast like so and see the kind of change that we get instantaneously okay anyways uh, so let's make things from scratch from the very beginning so I'm gonna delete any uh, CDN any internal style any JavaScript that I'd written okay let's delete it completely and let's also delete everything inside the body text completely so I'm at the very beginning so I'm gonna build from here uh, from the very scratch okay from scratch I'm gonna start building on this uh, building on these two spinners but this part as I said uh, will we'll work only on the simpler spinner the one that uses HTML5 with the dash of CSS okay first things first be in the design view people and notice I'm in the classic workspace okay make sure that you're not in the live view uh, be in the forms tab make sure that the forms tab is actually active or selected click out here to insert the opening closing form tags you will get a dashed red uh, border bordered area and then click on this icon to in insert a text field that I'm, I'm going to later change to a number field push in an ID and a label people so let's say amount let's say sum or whatever and let's say okay don't touch anything else any other option let's say okay go back to the split view people just observe the code that has been inserted so in the opening and the closing uh, body tags we have the opening form tag which closes out here the name attribute the method attribute um, and the actions attribute which is actually uh, kept empty usually will contain a PHP script once we have it ready that is actually for grabbing the uh, data and pushing it as an email but uh, this part does not talk about the PHP at all it's only about the creation of the uh, number field or the spinner okay so I'm gonna make a little modification to the code coming out here where we have the input uh, tag just changing the type from a text to a number 
that'll actually do that's all that you need to do people let's say a file and I save okay and uh, bring up the browser preview let's refresh and you can see that we already have a spinner ready that can go in the negative too okay let's get back to the HTML document now let's start inserting few uh, attributes like let's say step so let's say a step of 10 let's also say a min value of uh, 0 okay and a max of let's say a thousand okay and also another attribute the last one the class sunny which we don't have uh, ready at the moment but we'll uh, in a moment let's save things up let's bring up the browser preview once again let's refresh and now people the min that I can go is 0 the max that I can go is actually a thousand with the, a step value of 10 okay I can use the uh, scroll wheel or I can use the arrow keys on the keyboard too you see how very easily I could create a spinner just using HTML5 now I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, CSS as I promised you the inter using some internal style people I'm gonna go just after the title tag making sure that I'm inside the head of the document I'm gonna push in some uh, internal or an embedded style so we have the opening style tag out here which closes out here uh, I've created a group selector people it targets class sunny and targets class UI spinner just ignore the uh, class dot UI dash spinner at the moment okay we'll talk about it in the uh, next part of this tutorial it changes the background color to this uh, you know mild yellowish shade this height this width and uh, the font size is 14 okay and notice people this class sunny has been applied to the input number field okay notice how it actually ch changes the background of the number field let's take up a uh, browser preview after saving the changes so let's bring up the browser let's refresh and uh, notice people that a spinner is actually more aesthetic right now so min of zero max of thousand and a background color which is very uh, mild uh, yellowish shade okay so people this was the simpler part the part that talks about only HTML5 and a dash of CSS in the next part we'll take good control over our spinner using jQuery UI so I'll uh, definitely hope to see you in the next part you have a good day bye bye peace